Aloha, everybody. How's it? How you doing? Welcome to day, I think it's 12 of my 30-day video challenge. Uh, today I'm going to talk about, oh, I feel comfortable with all of you so much that I um, feel I'm capable of being vulnerable uh, because you guys have been such a safe space for me. Um, what should I do this video about? Just sitting in my van, van. just finished my my delivery shift. Uh, I delivered the local produce, and I was sitting there, there and checking out the news. You know, checking out this, that, the other. I was checking ESPN, and uh, I looked at the the score of the Indiana Fever. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark is the is the subject of this video. Crazy as that sounds. Um, and then I'm sitting there, and I saw, I saw they won today. They beat uh, a, a good team. And uh, Caitlin Clark had a great game, as she has almost every game this whole season. And I'm listening. And in the background, there's a bar right next to me, a bar restaurant. And I hear, I'm every woman. I'm every woman. I'm just sitting there thinking, like, Irony in that. I mean, I've already been tuning in every game. I don't watch the games live. Uh, I just go on YouTube and watch the highlights of the Indiana Fever games after every game. And I've been following her journey, not just just this season with the Indiana Fever, but before that with Iowa in college. She broke so many records. She was just a phenomenal athlete and basketball player. And just really took it to another level in a college, women's college basketball. And she was drafted number one overall for the WNBA. And I've just been following her journey. And not because it's Indiana. I mean, Indiana's great. Um, I'm rooting for Indiana. Like, I'm all about these rural Midwest areas. I grew up in Ohio, so I'm very supportive of um, Indiana, and even Michigan, even though it's the rivalry uh, with Ohio State, mostly in football, but, um, you know, Indiana, Indiana Illinois, Illinois, Michigan, Ohio, Ohio, and so on and so forth, uh, the Midwest, blue collar, real people, no offense if you're not from there, but it's different, it's just different if you're from that area and you know each other uh, from that area. Yeah, so Caitlin Clark is doing an amazing job in the WNBA already. It's her rookie year, first season. And she is up for rookie of the year. It's debatable. And there's still a whole half the season left to go. They just uh, kind of do a midway point. They went to, they had the All-Star game, they had the Olympics, uh, which they kept Caitlin Clark off the Olympic team. Yeah, it's understandable. She's young. It's only her first time. And maybe, arguably, her stats didn't really. Or maybe there's more veteran players that would make the team more veteran and, um, and whatnot. So that's arguable. No problem. Leaving her off the team. I, I think eventually they did bring her over when there was injuries. Um, but um, she's having a great season. And she does a lot. Some people say she only shoots the three, the deep three, um, but there's so much more to her game. She's a point guard. She brings the ball up the court. Uh, she shares the ball a lot, shares the rock, moves it around, uh, really is a playmaker. Uh, yes, she has the ability to make plays herself, go to the hoop, hit shots, take the deep three. Uh, it's harder for her to actually get the shot off because everybody knows her for what she to the table so it's been a really challenging year but what's been really cool about it watching the highlights of every game tuning in is i've actually enjoyed the team the indiana fever overall i've actually enjoyed the other star players on the team there's some other number one draft picks there aliyah boston uh was the number one overall pick um i think there's another number one overall pick uh, i can't think of names 
know, another point guard player. She's really been good. And Aaliyah Boston and Caitlin Clark. And then there's another one who has been like a rising star, like center power forward, who's doing pretty good too. So they're building a team. It might be that right time, right moment to put it all together thing, but Caitlin Clark has definitely helped a lot with that because she is that like point player everybody involved and set people up for nice shots and get some these, these amazing passes she makes to get them uh, to the hole and then they, they lay it in or whatnot. Um, so long story short uh, I'm just rooting for her I, I don't when I was a child yes there was Michael Jordan in basketball and in sports there's been a number of players that have come onto the scene and been dynamic and you can argue are the best ever um, and I haven't really, I just can't, can't really, I mean, LeBron James came in that way, and I watched his whole journey, uh, but Michael Jordan's still arguably the best ever, and you got to talk about the Tiger Woodses and the Serena Williams, and there's so many dynamic athletes that come in, come in, like, you know, the Tom Brady types, Peyton Mannings, um, some of the greats to ever play the game, Jerry Rice, um, Jim Brown, got to go way back for that one, Cleveland represent, um, so on and so forth, uh, so many greats, the Muhammad Ali's, but I don't, you know, something just called to me with this one, with Caitlin Clark, that, you know, this may be that moment when a dynamic superstar would come onto the scene and she could literally put the whole league on her back, she's already done that a lot brought a lot of money into the game, she's brought a lot of media into the game, a lot of brands, a lot of, um, there's so much energy, and she's been a good example uh, to the kids. Um, people in Indiana have been supporting her, plus people from all across the country, maybe even the world, have showed up to the games in Indiana, as well as the other games across the country. It hordes. The numbers are just extreme. Um, how much the attendance has been boosted and the viewership has been boosting. Some of the highest rated uh, events on television have been these games in which she's played, like the, the Iowa Hawkeyes, um, you know, uh, championship, you know, NCAA tournaments and championship games are some of the highest rated, even higher than Super Bowls and such. Um, and the higher than men's NCAA tournament, you know, championships and such. So, pretty amazing. amazing. It's pretty amazing. amazing. And there's also that racial conversation. There's so many that are just trying to, like, create this narrative that that she shouldn't be supported, uh, you know, at, at a high level. And that there's these other black players that should be seen as the big, the big thing. Uh, so there's all these media outlets that are trying to create this narrative but there is no narrative she's just shown up as a humble talented good hearted you know very athletic very amazing you know performing athlete that has shown up on all levels and i think that's great i really do i think it's really great so, all right, closing this out. This has been uh, another one of my goals today has been to do a horizontal video. I did it again, that's three in a row. Um, I actually can see the top of my head. Uh, so, and I've got the eye contact pretty good. I haven't been looking direct at it, but pretty good. Um, and uh, some shout outs. Uh, got a shout out my, my uh, in-home. Uh, hairdresser, stylist, keeping me looking fresh, my partner, uh, who's looking at me every day, so she won't let me go too long without getting, getting the upkeep, so got to give the shout out and credit where credit's due, and uh, y'all better honor her and, and give her the shout out and appreciation as well, um, and then and other shout outs, what else, who else, how? Just shout out to my crew, my 30 day video challenge crew. Y'all are awesome. Keep on doing what you're doing. Um, we are all going to complete this challenge and we're all supporting each other. And it's been awesome. So I 
really appreciate y'all. And what else? Brandon says his next video, number 24, is going to be his best yet. Definitely check that out. Um, I hope Brandon and Vlog Tony are feeling better. Um, Earl, dude, I hope you're getting inspiration for topics. Um, yeah, so on and so forth. Um, Jorg and Anders. Anders is on his way to France. Safe travels. Looking forward to that content. And Jorg has just been doing amazing with cinematography ever since day one. Amazing. Just amazing. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot more of you who are jumping in next. So I'm excited for the newbies that are coming in and creating their own 30-day uh, video challenge. It's been really fun. I'll see you all in the comment section after this video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I've always supported our female kind. I feel that I have the divine feminine within. And if I don't honor the feminine within the woman, then I don't honor the feminine within myself. So all the love and support and... I am not for men and women's sports at all. I think it's asinine, absolutely ridiculous, and uh, quite frankly, criminal. And I hope that that becomes uh, a focus of law enforcement going forward is to crack down on these sports and these teams and everybody who's been um, allowing it to happen, um, so on and so forth. Appreciate all of you. Thanks so much. Aloha. Oh, I want to do this. I don't know how to do it. Good job vlogging, Tony.